Hey guys, welcome to Life Meets Family. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to let you in on a secret passion of mine, of uh, Dan. I love motorcycles. I grew up riding dirt bikes through the woods, through the dirt, over the over small little jumps, over the hill, to the lake, to the stream, to fish, and that type of stuff. But I forgot how much fun I had doing it. And obviously riding a Harley and kicking back and relaxing and just having the pavement under me was so much fun. But my roots were in the dirt. My roots were exploring. So I got hooked on a TV show, a TV documentary called Long Way Round. And it was by Ewan McGregor and another guy, I forget. It's on Netflix called Long Way Round. Basically, two guys get on motorcycles and they ride from England through Europe through Russia. They ride in a boat across to Alaska. They ride from Alaska to America to New York. And that's where they finish. So they go around the whole entire world on a motorcycle. And watching this adventure, watching this, this documentary, it reminded me what I really love to do. I love the outdoors, I love camping, and I love exploring, and I really wanted to get back on two wheels, okay? and a Harley is not going to go through the mountain passes, and it's not going to go over that hill and all the way to that lake, uh, quite like a dirt bike film. So seeing, that, seeing that, that documentary and then exploring that a little more and seeing what was going on, it led me to something called the Trans-American Trail. They call it the TAT, T-A-T. And it is a dirt road, basically, that has been mapped out almost the East Coast. It starts in, like, South Carolina, but not quite to the coast. From South Carolina, North Carolina area, all the way across the United States to Oregon. And it stops on the beach in Oregon. You go from coast to coast, 5,000 miles, all dirt roads and it takes three weeks to a month and you camp out under the stars and you carry everything you need on your motorcycle it is a endurance adventure so once i found this i thought holy cow man that would be so amazing and it's a small version of what they did in that that movie but how amazing would that be to do i started to research it more and i started to investigate it and it I really wanted to do it and I started looking at bikes to do it and I told my old my older brother Jay about it and my younger brother Sonny about it and, and they were, were actually both already kind of exploring the adventure riding themselves and they're both really really good motorcycle riders I actually pretty much taught Sonny how to ride a motorcycle he was my little brother and I taught him how to do most everything he knows and so riding a motorcycle he just followed his big brother all right so this is my KTM 690 Enduro um, I got it last year in 2016 and I've made a few slight changes to it and I'll tell you about those so so far and then I have a few other changes that I have planned I changed the stock um, fairing added this Lynx fairing uh, which gave me the which uh, this Lynx fairing here which gave me this adjustable windshield I thought that was important um, for times that I'm on the highway uh, it gave me a little more wind protection the stock setup uh, did not give me as much wind protection as this and see, high intensity light balls so a lot better lighting also 
Another thing I changed was I changed out, it comes with a plastic engine cover, bash plate down there. I changed this one uh, to a metal one. It gave me a little more protection against rocks being spit up from the front tire and also from uh, low ground clearance uh, issues. So with, with the new fairing, it allows me to mount other items up here in the front, which is nice. It gives me two USB uh, power uh, outlets, which allows me to use my RAM mount, which I added, which is this here. And this fits my cell phone, my iPhone 6 Plus, or 7 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus. Um, and I can power it there off of the electric from the bike. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And then I also added the giant loop um, tank bag. In here I have cell phone charger, my gloves, uh, some of my insurance information. I changed out the foot pegs, just down here. Um, these are adventure style foot pegs, but they are twice as long and twice as wide. And it really allows you to get your whole foot on there. If you can see my foot. Um, your whole boot on there and stand up, uh, which is uh, feels a lot better when you're riding, uh, you know, to get weight off your butt sometimes. And so, two other things that I added um, is this uh, seat concepts uh, seat here. The stock seat that comes on it is not very plush, and this one has a little better foam, a little narrower here in the middle, which allows me to touch a little better um, but the foam here is a lot plusher so it really feels a lot better on my bum and then I changed out the gas tank um, film back here this is a CJ designs um, gas tank cover the gas tank on this bike is actually back here uh, which is a lot different and it's an, actually part of the subframe of the bike but this here allows less dirt and grime to actually fall inside of your gas tank. So obviously that's super important if you're out, if you're out in the dirt constantly and in the mud constantly. So the reason why I picked this bike is because it's so light and um, the power to weight ratio is, is, uh, is amazing. I don't know exactly what my brothers will end up with or my friends will end up with, um, but this is what I decided to go with. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes uh, long term. I have a few other plans for it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get some bags for the back of the bike uh, for my camping gear. I'm probably gonna change out the air filter on it. I'm gonna reset some of the suspension settings on it to tailor it uh, directly to me. But this is what I have so far, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I know this is a way different video than what we normally do on our uh, on this channel, our family vlog, but. I decided to share a little bit more about me and what I, you know, love to do. Uh, so if you guys enjoy this and you guys want to see more of it, then feel free to share it with your friends and to uh, let me know in the comment section below. And the rest of you guys who maybe uh, are familiar with our vlogs but like, you know, like this also, then share it and obviously make comments down below and let me know and let me know questions you may have about the bike or questions about. Um, you know about me and my writing plans and that's it